Hello, good afternoon. So today I want to, you know, discuss, you know, few features from this school software. Actually, this is a super school software. And of course, I it has a lot of features, but I want to quickly discuss a few things about the school software. Okay, so specifically, I am going to be laying my emphasis on the, the free collection part. Okay, so this part. But before you know we you know take payment from students, I want us to discuss about fee types. You see, the fee types is like a, a category, okay, and it is used to generate the same amount for a particular class, okay. Now, for example, you can say that you want to collect you know C fear for class a okay what's the amount okay let's say 500 so it means that for all the students in class a their transport fee okay amount is going to be 500 okay so i'm going to click on save let's add that okay beautiful so we have cpa for class a is 500 which means that all the students in class a they are going to be paying 500 bucks for the T fair. Okay, so let's go back to the fee collection. I'm going to click on this collect fee, you know, option here. Actually, we have a single invoice and we have, you know, mass invoice. Single invoice means that you want to create an invoice for a particular student, but the mass invoice means that you want to create, you know, single invoice for multiple students at the same time, okay? So now, this is how it works, okay? Now, I'm gonna select the class, so automatically it's gonna display all the student or pupils in the class selected, okay? So for me to be able to get the amount that the students are going to pay, so I'm gonna click on this fee title, I'm gonna click on this TFA for class A, so automatically we should see the amount earlier created under three types beautiful right so now the amount paid simply means that uh, usually it is always zero okay the reason this amount paid is there is because maybe you want to create you know paid invoice for all the student okay like now i want to you know come here and click on paid it means all the students in this class they have already paid for this amount so i, I am just going to put you know 500 here because this is the amount they have paid and the invoice is the status of the invoice is paid so i'm going to select all the you know student in the class selected okay but when you are now creating an invoice where the student is going to be unpaid of course the amount paid is going to be zero because of course the status is going to be unpaid this is a new invoice for the student so i'm going to change the status back to unpaid so mode of payment or payment method so it means that when you click on card when the student log in to their respective products okay they'll be able to pay with their credit card so when you click on check it means that the the option that will be displayed for students in their portal is that they are to pay this particular invoice with check okay so if you as an administrator you click on cash it means that you expect the student to bring cash to the school for the school accountants to receive okay and now you take payment option to accept the payment of course we are going to discuss about that very soon so for the description you can just put some information here okay so now all right sorry cash here description some information here so i am going to click on create invoice okay so this is going to take us to a page where we are going to manage the invoice as you can see because we use multiple you know mass you know creation mass means of creating the invoice so the the invoice automatically you know created for all the students you know selected 
Okay, so we have some you know information here. So amount to pay is five hundred bucks for this you know student. All right, so amount paid zero date to date day. Okay, so payment status is unpaid. Okay, so now where I'm actually going is that for example, maybe you want to increase you know the amount for a particular student or maybe some students down scholarship you want to reduce the amount for such students so this is where you are going to perform such operation you said we have four buttons here the first button means that you should take payment accept payment manually the second one talks about print maybe you want to print you know, the, this invoice okay you want to print the invoice. This is edit and this is delete. So I'm going to start with this take payment option. For example, if I click on this take payment button, then come back here. So the, the amount you have paid is zero. Okay. The remaining balance is 500 bucks. Amount you want to pay now. Maybe the student brought 250 or 300. You can just put it there. Okay, so the software is going to automatically deduct this amount from this 500 and the balance is going to be 200. But in case the student want to pay everything, you should type, you know, 500. Yeah, actually, when you type greater than 600, the software is going to reject it because the software is going to tell you that the balance is 500. So you must put 500 here. Okay, so when you click on accept payment, automatically, okay, this student amount paid is going to be 500 and of course you are going to see payment history here okay but where i'm going specifically is that how to increase or decrease the amount for a particular student or pupil so i'm going to click on this edit button it means edit the invoice okay so if i click on edit so this is the name of the student and the status is unpaid amount paid it's zero so for this student i want to increase the fee for this student to 700 maybe you have added some few things okay then you increase to 700 or maybe this student is on scholarship okay there's 50 percent discount so let's just put 250 which means that this student is going to be paying 250 while other students will be paying 500 okay so basically what i'm saying is that when you use this third button you can increase the amount or decrease the amount for a particular you know pupils or student okay so i'm going to click on save now actually we need to select the date sorry about that so i'm going to click on save now to see the effect on the inbox okay beautiful as you can see now for this student, we got 250 and this student is going to pay 500. So that is how to use the inbox effectively. So before I cut this video, I quickly want to discuss about the attendance option. So I'm going to come back to manage attendance. Beautiful. So before you can view the attendance, you need to actually you know mark the attendance. Okay. Now, how do we mark the attendance? I'm actually going to come back here select the class select the section okay then select the date actually today's five sunday i want to pick the, the today's date and click on get student so automatically it's going to display all the students in this class okay so we got two students here so now i want to present maybe absent okay so let's click on save okay so now let's go back to view attendance. Okay, now we have some symbols here. Present is green, absent, you know, kind of red or blah, blah. Out there, blue, you know, leads, red, undefined, black or something. So that is the symbol, okay? So I'm gonna click on class A, okay? Folks time, stuff like that, February. Now I'm gonna select this, this year, which is 23, okay? So I'm gonna click on Get attendance. Beautiful. It takes five. This guy is present and this guy is absent. So if you want to print that attendance, you are going to click on print option to see what we have there. Okay, beautiful. P stands for present and A, this red stands for absent. Okay, you cannot click on print option. Okay, to print the attendance, you know, 
and shape. Okay, so thank you. Bye.